I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So go on and get to clapping. Go pop a phone, pan, pop, pop a phone me. Turn around and drop it for a plan. Drop, drop it for me. I went to Peach House in Miami. Wake up with no jammies. She been dealing with these allergies. They hit us so bad, I end up having a bad sinus infection. So, I have seasonal asthma. So, with them, when my sinuses get that bad, my asthma flare up. So, uh, yeah, I got asthma too. She just a old ho. <laughs> How y'all living this morning? How y'all doing? She got lipstick on her teeth. Get it together, Miss Tiki. How y'all doing? And she's sweating. It's hot here in Vegas. I think it's already 100 degrees. But uh, good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I hope everybody is having a blessed day. Everybody's had a blessed weekend. Whatever you're going through in life, don't let the devil steal your joy. Because I know he was tap dancing on my tonsils. He was like, I need your attention. You don't feel good. You keep ignoring it. You don't feel good. You don't feel good. I go to work, 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 work. Y'all, I work like I got two little kids at home. Child care and everything. Stay your ass at home. And smoke. Secondhand smoke. My doctor always tell me, you need to quit smoking. I don't smoke. A secondhand smoke in those casinos. That's probably why I'm asthmatic and everything else. But anyway, last night at the summer jam, y'all, Lil Wayne performed. Y'all, that's my baby daddy. I mean, you know, I like his music, but Lil Wayne said, lick it, lick it like a lollipop. Lil Wayne won that uh, lawsuit from Baby. He has been released. I think he on 10 million. But he got the rights to his music. That's what he wanted. Last night at the Summer Jam, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne say, lick me like a lollipop. So Regine, call your daddy. <laughs> Yeah, they was going after Reggie on the uh, Insta the other day talking about, you know, she using her parents' allowance. And Jess Hilarious defended her. Well, she's only 19. Y'all know we got kids that's 20 and 21. And 30 we still have. So why y'all come down so hard on that child? She in college. I think Toya should have let her out a little more. Because now she done went buck wild. Woo, hold it up, boo. Now she done went buck wild because Toya didn't let her out. But uh, she'll learn. She'll learn real fast. Real fast, honey. Reality is a motherfucker. They ain't got nobody name on it, okay? But uh, they were going there and talking about she need to do this, she need to do that. And she's on growing up hip hop or I don't know if she's still on there. But I'm quite sure she's 18. Them chicks, are, they're in her name. And if we haven't remembered, Toya has lived off of Regine back. You know, she had another baby to get us some more child support. <laughs> ah, I said he's kept women. I don't get it. These kept women. I'm like, Toya, um, when you gonna start doing something about yourself, boo? The modeling wasn't working. You taking pictures every day, putting it on Instagram. I know you was making money. But, you know, how much money can you make off of social media? Well, I know. You can make a lot if you if they really get into you. But uh, I don't know. I think I would have to have something else to fall back on. And they always say a real boss got more than one income. And I like that. Y'all raising uh, Chase in Atlanta. I watched it last season, but I didn't watch it this season. And while I was laying at home chillaxing, under the weather i was like what is all this commotion going on well i did see a preview a little promotion go through with miss maddie doing a, a reunion and i said oh i'm about to check that out you know because believe it or not where well, i didn't watch it 
that little insert made me want to watch it. And then I see Ty Couture TV going back and forth. And when I went, it made me watch everybody's video. I went and uh, looked at Sean video. <clears throat> it's like, what's going on with Chase in Atlanta? And when I went and watched everything, I think it brought people to Ty Couture TV. I had seen him once before, but I really hadn't, you know, got into him. But him and his uh, partner, they look so happy together. And he said he was dealing with a bad marriage and they had broke up, but he was married 10 years fighting for that marriage. And sometimes we be fighting for things God be telling us to let go. <laughs> we be trying to hold on still life to them relationships and God be saying, my child, didn't I tell you to let it go? <laughs> That's not the one for you. You don't have to fight so hard for something that's meant for you. It will come easy. But uh, when you're in love, honey, <clears throat> we don't understand that. We just want it to work. But anyway, make a long story short, y'all know me Tiki. Make a long story short, it made me, you know, want to watch the uh, reunion. So, like they say, all press is good press. Sometimes bad press is just as good. Uh-huh. So, sometimes, you know, it is what it is. All right. Yeah, Miss Tiki been at home. I done missed like three, four days. LeBron James, I guess, uh, I don't keep up with basketball, but I think LeBron is on the Cavaliers. And uh, they're saying that he may have a secret baby out there. The Golden State Warriors want it this season. Yeah, kudos. But they are saying that LeBron James may have a secret baby. The ex-boyfriend of the mama. The rapper in Miami, I guess they broke up. And LeBron cut him off from dating the mama and all that money. So you know what's going on. He mad. And y'all know people be knowing them secrets when they dating their family. So I'm going to be sitting back with my eyes and my ears open. Because I'm quite sure he knows some truth. And they says by uh, some girl that was an anchor. She was a reporter. And uh, I believe there's some truth to that story because they said they stopped her from uh, doing the interviews and, you know, and she was like, if, if he is my baby daddy, <laughs> I'm going to go with that. No, bitch, he is your baby daddy. And uh, they kill me when they say a love child. <laughs> we'll make it a love child. Shit, a baby outside of the relationship, a love child. He don't love his kids he got at home. <laughs> they kill me when they say, I love child. Okay. But we're going to go with it. Last night in the summer jam, they wouldn't let Takashi. I mean, not Takashi. Yeah, Takashi, that little crazy rapper, the little young boy with that rainbow hair. I guess Ebro them 97.5 put on summer jam every year. And they wouldn't let him perform. But he has to realize, you can't go around and taunt everybody and expect to come to functions. He, he sit around and he taunt, taunt, taunt. And then now where well, he need to be on the stage showing his talents because he, he has to be talented. He is the number one rapper out right now. <laughs> Y'all, I think I get an ear infection. But anyway, we going to pray for Takashi. Yeah, I guess he's supposed to be dating Tanashi. And I said, oh, okay. But uh, they wouldn't let his ass in. The police shut him down and people was like what happened to all his tattoos because when he was online you didn't see no tattoos but he said he covered it up with makeup trying to get into the function you know he just wanted to be this little white boy he put a hoodie on and covered his makeup trying to get in they wouldn't let his ass in i said well every time you trolling people you're gonna end up dead and i guess 21 savage was at some barbecue yesterday he pulled his strap i'm just learning strap and that's a gun. He pulled this strap out at a barbecue. I guess one of his friends got knocked the fuck out. Okay? So I say, you know what? Y'all gotta quit talking to these people. Leave folks alone. Leave them alone. Shit. How y'all expect to do things in life? And y'all always somewhere fucking with folks. But, uh, did y'all see that picture of Beyonce and Jay-Z? Everybody, oh, she fat, she fat. No, she human. And that's what they're showing. After three kids. And she carried her kids. They want y'all to know she's human. She gained weight. She's fat. Okay. She ain't fat. She just fine. Pick them. But uh, Jay-Z need to uh, get on some kind of uh, no-carb diet. <laughs> oh, y'all yeah, 
about Jay Z, ain't never been the most handsomest person in the world. <clears throat> but uh, once Beyonce get out there and get to doing that booty dance, honey, she could do it. I say, you go, girl. Once she get out there and shake, 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 shake your booty, that way to fall right off. It's just like exercise. Y'all is black China pregnant with her third baby. Do anybody care? No? Okay. I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't think nobody give a ham sandwich about uh, Black China. Y'all, they saying Stevie J was fired from Love & Hip Hop ATL. But you know what? Mona got to trade lightly because ATL, I'm sorry. It started off good, but it, I just lost interest. And I don't know. It's not like it used to be. I'm used to Stevie J and Jocelyn and me, me, and them acting a fool. And I know they got good, you know, great new characters, a, a great cast. Tokyo and that other young lady been fighting and going at it. But some of them storylines is just unbelievable, okay? But, uh, I don't know. They saying Stevie J. Okay, Stevie J. Did he get fired from Love & Hip Hop ATL? Mona gonna have to tread lightly with that because that's her star. Without Stevie J, she might not have a Love & Hip Hop ATL. Everybody saying he needs to go, he needs to go. But I don't think so. I think she needs Stevie. That cast is not strong like it used to be. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Let me see if there's anything else. Lil' Kim is filing bankruptcy again. <laughs> She got $5 million worth of debt. I say this girl stay in debt. And uh, they saying she better start fighting with Cardi B or somebody to, to get what she need. I'm like, y'all leave that girl alone. Okay, all right, you wanna show out this morning. But uh, you guys, that's all I'm gonna chit chat about. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out with Miss Tiki. Miss Tiki trying to get better. All right, y'all have a lucky day. Thanks for sliding through. Hit that like button, you guys. Follow me over there on IG, Tiki44. And everybody have a blessed day.